Hello and welcome to my next video. This is on the final of the four compounds you need to know about. Alkanes, alkenes, alcohols and halogenoalkanes. These have a C to X bond. The X represents a halogen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. No, that never comes up. General formula is basically the same as the alcohol general formula. CnH2n plus 1 X. And here's an example. Now, you have to name them, you have the alkane molecule becomes the suffix so ethane propane butane and then the prefix is the uh, is the halogen and you can have fluoro chloro bromo iodo and in this case it is bromo ethane if it was pro propanol not sorry not propanol it was pro propane and you had the cl on the second carbon it would become 2 chloro propane Here's an example if you have two different halogens. So, what you do, you do the um, the order of halogens: fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. The lower down the order, the lower in ranking they go. So, if you had a chlorine and a bromine, chlorine is ranked higher. And if you had, for example, a you know, fluorine and iodine and bromine, it would go fluorine, bromine, iodine. So the lowest number is attached to the most reactive halogen, so in this time chlorine, and then the other one is Br. Now, common mistake is that they go, right, chlorine is the lowest number, so we put it first. We have one chloro, three bromopropane. No. The one that actually goes first in the name is one with the first letter in the alphabet, so B is before C, so it actually becomes 3 bromo, 1 chloropropane. So the rules the most reactive halogen gets the lowest number, and the halogen with the first letter in, or the earliest letter in the alphabet gets the first space in the name. Reactivity. Two things contribute to the reactivity of, halo of the halogeno alkanes is the polarity and the bond enthalpy. So the polarity is caused by halogen atoms being more electronegative than carbon atoms so attracting electrons so they become slightly negative slightly positive now as you go down the group the halogens become less electronegative so polarity decreases now bond enthalpy here is just the number of bond enthalpies for C for CF bond CCL CBR and CI and bond enthalpy decreases now You'll see why it's important a bit late on the next slide. Hydrolysis. Now, this is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Hydrolysis is just a reaction between water or aqueous hydroxide ions that breaks a chemical compound into two compounds. So here we have one chloropropane becomes propan one ol. So the structural formula plus OH minus becomes that structural formula plus Cl minus. Now reactivity and the rate of hydrolysis increases as you go down the halogen group so I iodo will hydrolysize quicker than fluoro now as we saw before we know that polarity decreases down the group and bond enthalpy decreases down the group now if polarity decreases you'd expect the hydrolysis to decrease if bond enthalpy decreases, you'd expect hydrolysis to decrease. This is because if polarity decreases, it means the it's harder to break the bond because it's not so unbalanced. If the bond enthalpy decreases, less energy is required, so it's obviously hydrolyzed quicker. Now, when you're looking at rate of hydrolysis, it's the bond enthalpy that is more important than the polarity. Bond enthalpy has a bigger effect. So as you go down the group, bond enthalpy decreases, rate of hydrolysis increases and that's all you need to know for that. So CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, they are non-toxic and non-flammable so using aerosols and refrigerator gases. And one of the reasons they're non-toxic and non-flammable is because the C halogen bonds are stable so CF or CCL. Until they reach the atmosphere when they reach U when they are when they find UV light they become radicals they go radical substitution basically. And then the CL radicals react with ozone and break it down. So they've now discovered hydrofluorocarbons or hydrochlorofluorocarbons, which are now used instead. And here is the reaction 
that occurs in the atmosphere. So a CFCl3 becomes Cl radical plus CFCl2 radical, and then the Cl radical reacts with ozone to become ClO radical plus oxygen, and the ClO radical reacts with 1O to become Cl radical plus O2, and the overall reaction is O3 plus O becomes O2. Sorry, 2O2. And um, they'll ask this question a lot, but it, that's why we don't want chlorofluorocarbons. But sadly, some of them are still being used because they're using up rest of them, but it's also they, they, they have a very long life in the atmosphere. So they're still up there. Even if we stop using them, they could be there for another like up to 80 years. And more of this will be discussed when I do green chemistry. In all the videos, I'm skipping out or brushing over the green chemistry because I'll do all of that in one video. Anyway, and that is that. So conclusion. Halogenoalkanes have a CX group. They undergo hydrolysis and nucleophilic substitution, yet again covered in the mechanis mechanisms video. And you also have chlorofluorocarbons. And that is all. And that's the final one. It again, these four videos I've done on the different chemicals you need to know about are very short. So if you have any questions or I've missed anything out, please ask. It's mainly since the exams is in a week. I am getting just all the videos done so you at least have a you know good knowledge and this should this is all you basically need to know but I always suggest do pass papers see what questions you will get so thanks for watching like comment subscribe um, yeah I thank you and goodbye <laughs>